and welcome to The Know, I'm Bruce. I'm Adam. And your first news story today, cheap video games are really, really good. This is not news, this is just <laughs> something you already knew. Remember way, way back when you had to actually pay money for your entertainment? No, I do not. Uh, we'd all gather around the soda jerk and put our nickels into the Nintendo and hope that we could get to the end of level 1-1 before the steam whistle blew and we had to go back to mining coal. Uh, what was Lawrence smoking when he wrote this script? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Things are better now though because all games cost next to nothing for some magical reason. Yeah, digital distribution, digital distribution. <laughs> <laughs> in an ever-growing competition for your precious eyeballs and dollar, well, invisible dollar, yeah. game publishers are practically giving away their games. Ooh, so good. Uh, so if you're tight on cash, here's a rundown of all the free games and super deals coming up in the next few weeks. First off, we got Microsoft's Games with Gold program, which we'll click over this Sunday. Right. As usual, we're getting the one free game on Xbox One and two on Xbox 360, though remember, you do have to pay a subscription fee, all so right, it's, that's right. it's Xbox Live. So it's not really free. No. Not exactly free. Anyway. Uh, hey, Ashley, which games are they getting for free on the Xbox One and the 360? All right, so um, Xbox One owners are gonna get Rayman Legends, and the 360 owners are gonna get Tomb Raider in the first half of the month, and Bioshock Infinite in the second half. And, I mean, these are all really yeah, great games. those are really, really good deals. Uh, if they don't own them. Well, no, if they don't own them, but they're, they're free games. That's, yeah. pretty, that's pretty fucking cool. Ashley, what are you personally excited for? Which one? Here's the thing. I would say Tomb Raider and Bioshock Infinite, but I don't own those, so I'm gonna have to go with Rayman Legends. Oh, nice. Um, and that's uh, yeah. that's on the Xbox One, too, so that's good. Yeah. So yeah, like we said, these are three really great yeah, absolutely games. Absolutely are, yeah. Uh, quite a bit different than some of the super old, crappy indie titles that we've seen. <laughs> uh, so this is kind of nice. Yeah, it is. Uh, if you can't swing the price of Xbox Gold, that actually just dropped in price, too. It's now $40 a year for the subscription. $40? How much is it? Like 60 or 50 I, I don't know. I, it, I just, it just gets taken out of my account. Yeah, I don't even notice. So this price drop hit without really any sort of announcement or anything, yeah. so we don't know if it's a time promo mm -hmm. or a permanent price change, but logic pretty much dictates that it's gonna just be a temporary thing. Yeah, absolutely. Get people in now. But it's still really a really, really good deal. Like, I should pretty be much, buying yeah. it right now, actually. Next up, EA is sweetening its EA Access game service that you probably forgot about <laughs> uh, <laughs> with a couple of titles. Yeah. Uh, first up, we got NBA Live 15. Yeah. Ashley, you excited for basketball? Woo! No. <laughs> she doesn't like basketball. Uh, anyway, NBA Live 15 is now available for all subscribers to download and play for free. free uh, what, marks. I mean, you say free, but if you stop paying, you don't get it anymore. So it's not really free, but I know. they understand it. Semantics. Uh, EA also announced that Battlefield Hardline will be available in full on EA Access starting March 12th. Now, this is really cool. The reason is it's five days way ahead of the public launch. You also have access to the entire game completely free for 10 total hours. As long as I pay $5 a month. Yes, correct. That is not free. But it's kind of free, but not really. Freedom isn't free. EA Access games are free. <laughs> so if you decide you like it, all of your progress will actually carry over to the full game when it releases the following Tuesday uh, on March 17th. Uh -huh. A couple of gotchas here though. EA Access costs $5 a month. So again, it's not free and it's only available on the Xbox One. Oh joy. <laughs> yeah, so. Love whatever. those options. Yeah. Uh, however, EA would love to let you know that being a member gets you 10% off all their games. Ah, right, so, here, so here's the deal. So if you buy EA Access and get Battlefield Hardline, your savings will cover the cost of membership for the month. Okay. So basically what you do is you get the 10% discount and that's, and it breaks even. We're also assuming Battlefield Hardline is going to be a good game. Uh, Lawrence also wrote, it's like being in GameStop all over again. EA power up rewards or some bullshit. Yay. <laughs> Would you like your copy of Game Informer now? Uh, hey, Ashley, are the PlayStation people feeling neglected? Not at all. I mean, look, PlayStation Plus gets some awesome games in f February, and they haven't announced what's coming in March yet, but if you have a PS4, you can download Transistor right now, which, by the way, we gave the patch game of the year. It's obviously a great game and everyone should check it out. And if you still have a PS3 plugged in and you know where yours is, please send it to me because I can't find mine. Uh, but if you do, you can get Yakuza 4 or Thief. And they haven't announced uh, which free games are coming in March yet, but the European PlayStation blog manager said that that would be coming sometime this week. Uncharted? Uncharted 4, they're gonna give it to you for free? Wait, it's the not game's a... not even out! The hell? Hmm? What about God of War 5? Are they gonna give you that one for free? I heard Nathan Drake's chest hair blows in the wind. All right, on to a game that's actually free. A new preview for Fable Legends by Kotaku UK reveals that the game will be free to play on both PC and Xbox. Yeah, that's what everyone wanted. Fable plus free to play. Yeah. Now it's, now, who cares? Wait, right, how, how's the room feel about Fable? I played it. I played it in E3. It wasn't the worst, but like I don't know. You should put that on the box. <laughs> it wasn't the worst. So overall, the model sounds very similar to a typical MOBA. Right. Certain heroes will rotate in and out, free to play, blah uh -huh, blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Smite's fun. Uh, if you want to permanently unlock characters, 
you gotta buy them. You have to buy them. You gotta that's, buy them. That's unfortunate. It's like EA Access. You have to give them money if you want to do stuff. They call it free, but it's not. Uh, aside from that, no gems or Fable coins to buy. So that's that's kind of cool. We don't know that. Uh, and you'll also be able to play cross-platform, PC versus Xbox One, that's good. Xbox One versus PC. All your favorite Fable heroes like Kodoroth the Magnificent! Right? Asgard the Bull! Uh, these, I made those up. Oh, really? No, I made They could have been real. I wouldn't yeah. have. But, but Godoroth yeah. versus Asgard, Battle Royale. And we're now moving over to where you've all been waiting for, guys. The free games from Nintendo. Ah! What are they? Ashley, what are the free games for Nintendo? No free games for you. Oh. oh <laughs> that's all we wanted. Oh, that's it. Sorry, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, I love you. Make sure you like and subscribe. Stay in the know. We'll see you soon. For free Nintendo games. We'll see you soon. Ah! I'm gonna go play oh, NBA Live 15. This.